going on, everyone? Welcome back to Monthly Mayhem, the second to the last episode in this series, and it's been all failure up to this point. Surprise. But since the last time, I have made some progress in something that I think may actually help me get a little bit more hang time. Now, what you see here in front of us is an interesting interpretation of the rules. Uh, I did further adapt my rat trap deployment method into something that I think is going to be worthy of my final test. So inside of the body here is the rat trap. Now you can see I do have the body in the state that we had it before without the roof. Uh, I know we agreed on some moderate trimming and this is my interpretation of that. The rat trap is centered here in the vehicle. When it goes up, I've got it tethered to a length that keeps it at about 90 degrees. My tests last night showed some definite failures, and that is that I was testing without the body, and when it went off, it basically kept the parachute the whole time and just threw it into the ground, which meant it threw it into the rear tires, and then it made me shred something in the transmission. I was super worried because those are some of the parts I don't have. Ah, oh, no. Broken. But tonight I opened up the transmission to inspect the gears and see how nasty they were. And it actually turned out that I just blew up one of the top shaft bearings. So I was able to replace that bearing, get it all back together, and the gears kind of worked themselves out. Since I blew up that bearing, it allowed that slipper assembly to pull outwards, so it only chewed out a small percentage of the outside of the plastic gears. So once it got put back in place, they, they smoothed out well enough. Definitely well enough for the test that we're gonna put it through. Now, you see this orange strap up here. What that is, is that is something to hold the parachute in place until I actually hit that deployment button. So. That Velcro strap is attached to the chassis and it's just very loosely attached out here on the front side. Now I am kind of being a little weary of this and that's because it is loaded. Um, and I'm really trying to avoid getting hit in the face with this thing. Um, but when you hit the button on the remote, it will undo that Velcro tension and deploy the parachute to the back, allowing it to slow the descent of this vehicle. I am well aware that a parachute of this size is not going to just make this thing nice, calmly float. I am hoping that I can find something tall enough to get this thing off of and let it slow the descent enough that it doesn't destroy the car when it reaches the bottom. Now, Matt has made me agree to not use something that will get us in some sort of legal possibilities of being in trouble. So uh, he has made me veto the bridge idea because there was a very tall bridge nearby that you could get to the bottom of. And, but I was slightly concerned about that as well. So I'm going to try to find another option. I don't know what it's gonna be. And it's, uh, I don't have much time. So I've attached the parachute to the front of the chassis just because that's uh, something easy as far as where the rat trap is located, where the parachute is, and just how things lined up. That's as good as it got. I am relying very heavily on the ability of a tactic servo, and that is the scariest thing about this whole experiment. Before we go though, for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button on the radio one time and let you see uh, the uh, quality of what I'm working with here. So after two failed attempts first to show that it works, uh, I did get it to deploy properly. Now the failed attempts were because the the amount of overlap on this Velcro strap is is one of the tricky parts. It, it's just this tiny, teeny, tiny little amount. Um, 
and that makes things pretty difficult to gauge because it's gotta be on there well enough to hold it while I'm trying to get an approach, but not so much that when they hit the servo, it doesn't actuate. This is far from one of my more uh, proud ideas, inventions, uh, or, or projects in general, but uh, you know, if it works, or even if it doesn't work in a spectacular way, I'll be happy enough. So um, I am confident that this setup can beat Matt if it works. 60% of the time it works every time and that's what's important. So wish me luck on Friday for whatever location I can find to get this thing up in the air and hopefully safely back down to the ground. So as always, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see me fail miserably on Friday and we'll see you on the next one.